This little foam glider floats along in front of me as if by magic. But this isn't a magic trick at all. There are no strings, no motors, no magnets, or anything of that sort. Just a thinly sliced piece of foam with a tiny weight at the nose for balance. As long as I keep moving forward, it'll fly forever. Walk-along gliding was invented by Joseph E. Grant in 1955. Joseph, an avid sailor, businessman, and military officer, was a man of many interests. It's believed that his deep love for sailing is what ultimately led him to pursue the creation of the walk-along glider. Perhaps it was the mesmerizing interaction of the wind against the sails of his boat that sparked his curiosity about lift and airflow. Walk-along gliders work by riding a wave of disturbed air that's pushed out in front of you as you walk forward, much like a surfer rides a wave in the ocean. This phenomenon occurs naturally when wind is forced upwards over terrain or structures like mountains, cliffs, or even buildings. Sustained flight in this environment, known as slope soaring, is not only enjoyed by birds, but also by pilots of motorless aircraft like paragliders and hang gliders. The only difference here is that instead of the wind coming to you, you create the wind by your forward motion. Joseph's original design consisted of a wooden paddle with a strap worn around the hand in what appeared to be a lightweight balsa wood model glider. He later would go on to improve the paddle, incorporating a mechanism which allowed the glider to be launched directly off of the surface. Since the invention of walk-along gliders, aviation enthusiasts around the world have made modifications and further developments to Joseph's original design, leading to more maneuverability, making it easier than ever for newcomers to experience the magic of flight. Its most current design, which uses extremely thin styrofoam, was developed by engineer Michael Thompson, allowing for the lightest and most stable design to date. Flying one of these gliders is best achieved by holding a large, flat surface out in front of you at about a 30-degree angle. Gently tilting the surface to the left or right allows you to steer the glider, while adjusting your forward walking speed allows for climbing or descending. There we go. Try to make it back to the other room. The air is a little bit bumpy because the furnace was just on. See if we can make this corner. It's gonna be tight. Ooh. Oh. A little bit of turbulence, but we're still rolling. Make this corner. There we go. And back into the room where we started. So we can land over here on the chair. Not too bad. If you're a beginner, a larger flat surface that displaces more air and produces a bigger wave is easiest. But after some practice, it's possible to use just about anything. Even your hands or your head alone can keep the glider in flight. Just about anything. Hey, you want to fly a plane? That's the spirit. Come on. That's right. Even a Lynx Point Siamese cat can fly a walk-along glider. She even does it without looking. Impressive. Does your cat generate good lift? I think that's a phrase that's never been said on the internet before. Animated illustrations of how things work are helpful and interesting, but if possible, I always enjoy seeing it happen in real life. So tonight, we're going to attempt to actually see that wave of air that allows these gliders to fly. 
I'll be using laser levels and a fog machine as an indicator. The next step is to build an area for the gliders to fly through. Once fog is introduced into the room and the lights are off, the flat beams of light from the laser illuminate a two-dimensional slice of air in any given area, just like how an MRI machine produces a scan of a brain. The lasers and fog alone were so magical that I couldn't help from playing around for at least an hour. If I could just get the glider to fly in a straight line within the beam of the lasers, this should work. It's often easy to underestimate how difficult something is going to be while planning it in your head, and this was a prime example of that. In these shots, we can start to see that wave of air out in front lifting the glider, but between tripping over my light stands in the dark and having a very hard time flying in a completely straight line for more than a couple of seconds, this took a while. Here, we can clearly see the wave of air that makes all of this possible. The lift is much more subtle than I expected, and it's an amazing testament to just how light these gliders are. Notice how far out in front of the board the wave begins to form. I want to give a big thank you to ScienceToyMaker.com for sending me the gliders that we're using in today's video, as well as the sheets of foam used to make them. In addition to walk-along gliders, ScienceToyMaker.com has a whole bunch of really neat experiments that you can do at home that are great for kids or adults, so I highly recommend you check out their website. A lot of really fun stuff. ScienceToyMaker.com has several of these templates that you can print out to help you build a walk-along glider. And the thinly sliced styrofoam can be purchased from their website. There are two main methods for launching a walk-along glider. The first, which is my favorite, is to hold it up high, let it go, and catch up with it from behind. The other option is to simply let it slide down the surface, almost like a little aircraft carrier. Flying multiple gliders at once is also possible. I even tried flying up a staircase, which didn't go so well. Oh yeah, I'm fine. But I think it's still possible. Regardless of what type of glider you're using, You'll get the best results when the air in the room is as still as possible, so temporarily closing all windows, turning off any fans, furnaces, or air conditioning units is best. And as far as flying outside, yeah, in most cases it's pretty much impossible, at least with these extremely lightweight designs. The world record for the longest single flight with a walk-along glider was achieved on June 12, 2016 by a team of two, Chang Zihua and Li Rongji in China. Together, they kept the glider flying for an impressive one hour and two minutes. It's really exciting to see all of the different ways that these gliders are being flown and experimented with, but there are still so many applications that haven't yet been explored. I dedicate this video to you, Joseph E. Grant. Though you may not have realized it at the time, you've created something truly special. Something that far exceeds a simple little toy glider that we lead between the walls and through the halls of a quiet room. You've created a doorway for so many people into the world of flight. I think walk-along gliders, in a way, represent the spirit of curiosity, reminding us that hidden wonders are always there if we just stop for a moment and look more closely.
Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.